Hello, you beautiful people, and welcome back to Let's Play Mafia Definite Edition. He's down. These guys will panic. We're actually doing this. He's been up against the boss for what, ten years? More. You think that white suit would make him an easier target? Where we are going to go up against the, so to say, enemy Don, and hopefully, finally, bring him down to justice. Well, at least. In our mob eyes. And we are nearly, or we are actually now, at the desired location. Let's. I see him! Let him have it! Ah, okay, there. I thought we need to park here. What is a lo little bit conf What is a little bit confusing that I was shooting and suddenly I could not drive. That was a little bit weird. Oh yeah. Okay, one card down. Police down. The good part is we are now, oh my goodness. It is not as easy, <laughs> it is actually really really hard to control the car, do shooting and drive, confusingly. I hope we are going to make it in the first try. I for now going to concentrate a little bit on driving and not particularly shooting, although shooting is auto aim out of the car. Um, but I need to be a little bit careful when it goes around corners. Especially if we are speeding like that and not uh, taking the corners correctly. Well, he may be, but I. Oh my goodness. Well, it's not working out as intended right now. At least that corner was taken nicely. So let's then head out and finally get to him. So luckily I don't need to shoot backwards, um, just drive and trying to get after them actually. And at least for now he's alone. This is our time right now to bring him down if the car is controllable. Okay, but 
Let's keep us three off your list. They only just fixed up um, okay, little lag there, sorry. I was surprised by the lag as well. He's got muscle waiting. I see him. Alright, so come on, come on, load up. I wanna finish him up. Okay, this was my mistake on the one hand reloading there like an idiot and on the other hand of course um, not doing it correctly there. Shame on me actually. Okay, let's go quickly to cover and pull out some... Okay, I wanted to pull out some clean, nice headshot and it was not working out at all. Okay, this dude killed himself. Oh my goodness, okay. I need to be... Ah, and there's even a sniper up there to the top on the water silo. So I gonna need to be extra careful. I don't wanna... Um, I don't want this um, fight to drag on and drag on. That might be not that cool. So let me go into concentration mode and be more careful. Okay, that's neat. The sniper is down, so we just have a couple of guys being there. Okay, the car parked there splendidly, enough um, to easily take it down with the explosive there. That is quite neat. Okay. The med kit is utterly necessary. And I'm going to take some grenades with me. Maybe I'm even thinking about using them. So I don't see any sniper. Okay, storming forward at least a little bit. Okay, that was actually too sharp there. Back to the Tommy gun then and... Bringing the suit down. Nice here, to back here. 
And I know what's going to come. We are going to hop into the car and go actually after them. Oh, 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 ah, oh, ah, okay. Crap. Oh, come on. One engine down. And now at the second one. Engines down. Okay. Okay, here's what's happening. We follow it. We see where it lands. We rush in all guns blazing and we finish them off. No way to fall. Wow. You drive like this in your old job. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. No way that bird's staying in the sky. That thing's not gonna land, it's gonna crash. It look uh, aeronautic to you. But thank Christ we got you in the car, Professor. Morello's not gonna walk away from a plane crash. That's a maybe, but he ain't dead till we've seen him dead. Out of all of us, you two should know that by now. Okay, to the left we need to go. Luckily, there's a police car, so we can't... Where is he trying to take it? Maybe out near the racetrack. More chance of landing it safe outside the city. Hello, maybe, but it's not gonna be safe. Wherever he comes down, we'll be there soon after. Okay, luckily, what I just have noticed, we have the... So we don't have time to relax. We gotta be sure he's dead before the cops show. No one's gonna survive that. Hell of a lot of smoke. I can't believe we did this. And no, don't seem real. Stay alert with your guns close. We've come too far to get lazy at the end. We don't have long. Every cop in the city is gonna be on his way. Get out, we check the wreckage, we leave. We got it? Sure we do. And there we are. Nice. Jesus Christ. Bastard's daddy doesn't even know it yet. This was a nice mission. See you on the other side, Marku. Okay, next and uh, next this mission completed, chapter complete, cream de la cream. So let's see, I think there are four chapters remaining, so not too too many episodes. So let's get up to 38. You fucking phantom. I've been chasing you for three goddamn years. You do life for this, Tom. Maybe you in a chair. 
You don't want the guy who was punching tickets. You want the guy who was handing them out. So that's what this has been all about, huh? You offering up Salieri. The Don's books. The ones Frank stole. I have them. They're enough to put Salieri away forever, and they're yours. Assuming we have a deal. My family. For the Don. You recognize anyone? Look again. <sighs> Old man, that's Don Popone, two younger lads of Morello and Salieri. Yeah. Okay, I see it. <laughs> that must be what? 1920? April. Morello's wedding. Salieri was the best man. <laughs> Jesus. They're just kids. Now they're Eddie's soldiers in Papone's mob. <laughs> so what happened? How did they go from being best mates to Morello on a slab? I don't know. I didn't even know they were friends. <laughs> but you don't know could fill up the fucking crash they're building. In 22, Papone drowns up at the lake. Right? In order to keep things running smoothly, Salieri and Morello Great to dip you up the city. Yeah, I heard the story, so what? Well, their friendship should have made the deal work, but didn't make a lick of difference. After Morello, Salieri was beaming, thinking we ran the whole damn town. Me, I was just happy the war was over. But then I got to thinking about something. What good? It was all of Morello's money if we couldn't protect him from a regular Joe like me. Cabby, for Christ's sake. It only got him one thing. A great big bullseye in his fucking forehead. And that thought... It just kept turning round and round in my head until one day... I'm looking in a mirror. I start seeing a bullseye too. Right here. Dry your tears in the water hundreds, do you? I wasn't about to give up the good life, I know that. I just told myself that I, I was smarter than Morello. That I wouldn't turn around one day and find Polly or Sam pointing a gun at my head. The thing is, you don't see it. When you're out on the street, scrapping, fighting for your life, and the guy next to you isn't just your partner, he's your brother. You'd stick a knife in someone for your brother, right? But at night, you lie awake, wondering what he and Adon were whispering about behind the bar. Wondering if your best friend is hungry enough to betray you. Okay, guys, and that leads us right now to the end of this episode and you know it i as usual really really thank you for watching if you have enjoyed this um episode then please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and hopefully and hopefully i see you in the next episode